Welcome, my name is Guillermo Gallego, and in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, image intensity reconstruction from events. So we know that uh, DVS, uh, an event camera like the DVS, the dynamic vision sensor, it measures temporal contrast. This means that basically an event is triggered whenever there is a, a brightness increase or decrease of size C. And Basically, this means that the light that arrives at a single pixel, that is this black line, is converted into a sequence of events, which are depicted here in blue and red, on and off. And now the question is, uh, given these events, can we recover the absolute intensity? That's the question that basically tries to answer in each intensity reconstruction. Well, uh, let's try to recover such pixels uh, intensity and we know that events uh, they represent intensity changes so whenever we have one of these arrows painted here it means there was a brightness increase of size c or a brightness decrease of size c of size minus c therefore um, in principle if these are intensity changes uh, we could just integrate them and we should be able to obtain absolute intensity so let's try to do that so this is the, the size of the step and then we write our grid and imagine that we start at this point here on the left and well if we receive an on, on event basically it means that we jump a step c higher more or less and if we've seen a, a negative event then it means that there was a brightness decrease and we just take a step down and we do it like this and well what we observe is that the recovered signal approximates the original one because now this one is kind of like step uh, shape and even more we cannot uh, see the oscillations that happens within the quantization error the quantization interval c right so it could be this flat line or it could be any oscillation that is smaller than c because that will not trigger another an event therefore we will not see it okay so we do this for the the rest of the events then basically the signal that we obtain is uh, this one that is not the original one it's just an approximation well additionally we see that the not only is that we cannot see the oscillation that happens within the quantization interval and that the recovered signal is an approximation is that the offset which is when we this height here where we started is typically unknown uh, so what does it mean well it means that it could be that signal or any other signal because we are free to choose the offset and all these signals they are consistent uh, with with the events right so that's really a problem because yeah integration uh, might work but this is for one pixel what happens when we have multiple pixels then well ideally if we want to have a coherent image we need to know what these offsets are for all pixels in the image um, so if we write it a bit more formally um, the intuition is the following is that this was the offset and now we are integrating something that will resemble like a temporal derivative of brightness and um, when we integrate this from 0 to t then well, we know that this formula basic formula from calculus applies and this is just uh, an increment an increment brightness by definition if we move l0 to the other side then this is lt minus l0 okay now if we write it in the quantities that we have for the dbs pixel basically we have the log brightness estimated one uh, because it cannot fully recover at a pixel x is basically the offset which was that orange dot from before so the intensity at time equals zero and then we sum here on the right uh, something that comes from the events right so we take all the events that happen from zero to t uh, with these timestamps decay and we sum the polarities and we multiply also by the contrast threshold to get a physical units of intensity. And basically here it's saying that these two deltas, whether if it's a Dirac because the argument is a continuous variable or whether it's a Kronecker because the argument is a, a discrete uh, variable because it can only live on a lattice, like a pixel lattice. 
basically this is saying that whenever an event arrives i will update pixel uh, xk and at time tk and that's where the location of these jumps of size c and sign plus or minus one will happen but at the end of the day this on the right is nothing more than an intensity increment uh, value right if you take it this as a whole image so we omit the x this is an offset image and then on the right is a brightness increment image as we have usually call it so that's the the math behind it now let's take a look at the image reconstruction and on the left you see the events and on the right you see a reconstructed example And I think this is quite interesting because it's somehow surprising that we are talking about the problem of the offset, that we don't know the offset, and we are starting from a zero initial condition, but we are still able to get somehow grayscale absolute intensity information, right? So isn't it magic that we are able to reconstruct some intensities starting from, from zero initial condition and without knowing these offsets? And to me, it, it seems, right? Did you also notice how the intensity, so this great val grayscale value, uh, the information appears as the edges moves through the scene and then it fades away, as we can see? So why is this happening? And we haven't seen this method yet, but basically it starts from grayscale and then there is some integration going on when the events happen. And there is now then, if there are no events happening, there is some temporal decay. And also, did you notice the, that you can see uh, what's in the background? There is like an after image when during fading. So after the cyclist, I can see here behind, I can see some trees and a plant, right? So I think this is very interesting that the DBS gives us intensity changes, but nevertheless, we are able to obtain somehow to recover um, the absolute intensity and not only that we can also recover as you can see in the video at, uh, at high speed right we can slow down the video so we create a video that or images that they they inherit the properties from the from the events such as that they are high speed and that they are high dynamic range Okay, so that's it for the sneak peek about the image reconstruction. And if you want to read more about these offsets and how to recover the signal, well, this is uh, the reference to do so. Thank you very much.